Hello, Israelites. The Exodus has begun. Um, and I want to refer to a video right off the bat. Well, after you're done here, go and view Benayah Israel, um, his video called, retitled, Black Germany Kings. So, um, the Exodus has begun. I and my family, if God has directed me, represent the forthcoming nation of Israel. And we arrived in Germany this past Monday. And um, as like in Nairobi, Kenya, Africa, when y'all called us into Nairobi, Kenya, Africa, we had to walk in faith and also uh, take control of the spiritual realm and, and all that of Nairobi, Kenya. So we, we got in the plane, flew to Nairobi, Kenya, Africa, landed, um, they took our passports, and or no, they, we had our passports. They allowed us into the country with a visa, and it was probably it was November the 9th of 2002, and we were into the country, and that was it. And there were some, some officials who helped us get a taxi. We got in the taxi, and the taxi driver asked us, where do you want to go? And he told us, we told the taxi driver, we don't know. And at the time we said, God has sent us. And from that point forward, it was pushing through, establishing, and, and walking in faith, and um, doing the work that Yah called us to do. So likewise, when we landed in Germany, we got off the plane, um, we flew from America to Turkey, then we had an overnight in Turkey, and then we had great warfare there. We, we didn't know that we had to get a visa in Turkey. So what happened was that in an about way, we were talking to people and we found out a day before that if we did not get a visa in Turkey, that we could not leave the country. And so it took us about um, six hours or so to actually get visas. It was We were, we were talking to to um, Turkish people, and you know, the, the foreign languages, and even those that speak English, the, the way they do things is, is weird. Because we, we, when we got off the plane, we wanted to confirm the gate that we were going to um, go to to leave Turkey. And one of the men said, Ah, you have to go down here to get something. And all he did is say, Go get over here. And what he meant is that we probably had to walk um, the, almost the full length of that large Turkish airport. To get a visa, and then in, in doing that, <clears throat> we had to get what, internet service. Mm -hmm. internet, yes, we, purchase it. Purchase internet service, and all that we, my wife was, and, and our, our um, oldest daughter, they were trying to get on online, and all of a sudden, I went and talked to a, one of the officials, and, and they always said, "Go over here." And what we did is we went around the corner, and here was this booth that said visas, and so we had been working on getting visas to get out of Turkey, like I said, I don't know how, how many hours it was. Online. And, how, how long? Online. We Online, there. but how long was it? How long did it take? At least two. At least two hours. But then all of a sudden, we just walked up to this booth, the lady opened our passports, she, got, she signed them, she authorized them, it took stamped us like, it. stamped them, and it was like, it took less than five minutes to, to actually do that. And then at that point, when we had flown into um, Turkey, <clears throat> it was going to be like a 16-hour overlay. And by the time that we had um, re gotten our visas and all, it was probably going about 7 o'clock in the evening, and Turkish Airlines allowed for that um, for passengers like that from one country to the other country, they would provide overnight stay for you. So we were able to get a ho hotel at the, what, the Hampton or whatever it was, mm -hmm. at, the, at the Hampton there, and we probably got in around about 11 o'clock, we took showers, um, I don't know if we had some snacks. We had some snacks, and we had about three or four hours of of sleep in before the in the bed before um, we took took the second flight to come to Germany. And <clears throat> so we we got the flight. We landed in, in Germany, and I'm not going to mention the, the the names of the where we landed. This this y'all told me to be very careful how I do this. 
And so we landed in Germany. We, we had all our luggage. And another thing is that um, we had 10 um, suitcases. That's all our belongings as a family. So <clears throat> amongst the five of us, we had 10 bags. So all our belongings and furniture and all like that, y'all start having to give that away almost eight or nine months ago. So this is part of what he's getting ready to do to us as a nation, that we're going to have to leave our belongings. Some of us, are, yes, to, for the accidents. And so we landed in the airport. We were tired. And... Um, we just kind of sat there and regrouped ourselves. So we probably were there probably, I don't know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then pretty much Yah led me to go outside and go talk to some taxi drivers. So went outside and asked them about um, hotels. And one of the taxi drivers was explaining to us. I didn't remember what all he said. And he said, yeah, city center or something like that. City center, they have lots of hotels. And so, <clears throat> and then there was... There was another taxi driver who had a van. And so I just asked him, I said, um, can you take us to city, to city center? He said, yes. So he loaded up all our 10, our ten bags of worldly possessions. And that's how we began our journey here in Germany. And so we, um, he brought us here to city center. And so we have... They have numerous hotels up and down this, this area that we're, we're, we're lodging in. And we went to one, just like in Nairobi, we went to one place and they said, no, we wouldn't take these people. We went to another place. The, the sixth, he said, um, bear with me. March the sixth, he said, this is the end of times. And then he said, this is their end of times. So we are in that time, time is short. He's, he's been telling us time is short for at least, what, the last three years? So a lot of that, he, 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 he's saying that I am Yah, I can do anything. I can change the times because I am Yah. And so once again, I'm going to repeat it. He said, this is the end of times. Then he, is, then he said, this is their end of times. So going from there, um, so this week has been that of pressing through and just just battling to to settle in as to where he has us. But I want to mention again to you, go to Benayah Israel and, and view his video where the, the video is Black Germany Kings. So <clears throat> way before the Europeans walked this land, the nation of Israel was in this land, was in this region of um of the world. And one of the things that he told us was that Germany is part of the land of Israel. Hear me again. He said Germany is part of the land of Israel. So that's why he, he sent us here. Um, and so now this and so he gave for us kind of the um the itinerary. And on that same day uh, March the 6th of uh, 23, which was last month, he said, he said, this is the slash your itinerary. He said, fly from here, which was Memphis, Tennessee, to Washington, D.C. And then he said, leave from Washington, D.C. to Germany. He said, you are establishing the gateway for the American exodus. I'll read that again to you. The itinerary. This is your this is slash your itinerary. Fly from here, Memphis, Tennessee, to Washington D.C. Leave from Washington D.C. to Germany. You are establishing the gateway for the American exodus. And then, so for that, we um, we have begun that process. And like in um, Nairobi, Kenya, he said, tearing down the walls. That is what I've been called to do. Tearing down the walls and the strongholds. And he says, as I walk the land, I spiritually establish the kingdom of Yah. So once again, and that was way back, I think I put it on one of the first videos when we were in Nairobi, Kenya, Africa. He said, he gave me the prophecy that said why he had brought us to Nairobi, Kenya, Africa. And in that he said, let's go back and review the, um, 
that video, but he said, I have called you to tear down the walls and strongholds before, at that time, before Jesus comes. So for the Messiah, before he comes, Yahshua. And so that is part of what he has called me to do, to, to, to lead the way, to open up for that of what he wants to do. So leading the way, so here it is. Now we're, we're, we're in that season of the exodus. So family, get get excited for what is what is happening. It's going, it's happening quick. It's happening fast. Okay, so another thing is that <clears throat> within, and this is, he told us that it was, this was going to happen, happen at like at warp speed of what he wanted us to accomplish here. And so another thing was that of uh, transitioning from the Americana type of way. So the phones that we've had and, and, and such, we, we worked the last um, day or so trans, um, changing the phone on the SIM cards. So for three of the phones that we have right now, two of them are primarily for the, the country of Europe pretty much, and then one is still for America. So step along, bit by bit, he, he, he's settling us in. Because one of the things that he told us um, back this past May was to establish citizenship in Germany. And so that's forthcoming. So in terms of what is next is once again as he, he will sit down and worship and anything, he'll, he'll give us more information as to what he wants to do next. So at this point as of this video... We have been here, like I said, whatever, four or five days. We, we, the first day, I'm going to tell you, it, it was scary. It was, it, to, to me, it was one of, those, one of those things. We are here. We're trying to break into uh, uh, this, this realm, as he would say. And, and, and it was tough. And for this last two or three days, that of the, the monies that we have, we were paying a lot for the rooms and everything. So I'm, I'm reaching out to all of you to, to help us. Um, and also, please um, share this video with everybody. Uh, I can't, I can't um, stress that enough. Uh, this is the beginning of the exodus. Us being here is the beginning of the exodus. And so, in that, um, and so right now we are we are actually um, setting up a goal. What is it called? GoFundMe. GoFundMe. <laughs> Or we're going to try preparing for the exodus. Right, preparing for the exodus. So once again, family, we we need your your help, your financial support at this time in a, in a mighty way. Um, <clears throat> okay. What else? Also, in that is that I think it was in that that um, might have been the first the first video about the manifesto of of, of Yah. So once again. Well, we have that posted, but make a copy of that also. That will kind of be the, that, that's going to be Yah's itinerary. Some of these things might not happen within the next two or three years, but this is the, 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 the manifesto that he gave to me on February the 8th of 2020, Saturday. That, that manifesto, it has 16, I think 20, 17 bullets, 20, I don't know how many bullets, 20 statements. And so... Some of these things um, we are doing now, and one of the most important, let's say, one, he, he wants his treasures back. He wants a lot of the treasures back from a lot of these countries that took, took the, the treasures of the kingdom of Israel. He, he wants those things back. And so that's part of reclaiming our heritage from the nations. He said uh, he, he always wants to Repeat and let us know. So he gives us the, the, the revelation and he repeats it and repeats it. So on January 29th, January 29th, 23, was a Sunday. He said once again, this is it. This is the appointed time. Then he went on to say, be not frustrated in how I move you. Then he said once again, he said, comprehend this. This is the end. These are the end times. So, this um, summarizing, <clears throat> the exodus has begun. So, get your mind and your minds in order. Um, start cleaning up. 
start um, downsizing and um, get ready. Get, get ready, Israel. And then one more thing he kind of wants me to share with you is that the two witnesses are alive and they are amongst us. So once again, the two witnesses are alive and they are amongst us. So once again, family, I got, I'm stressing this. We, we need your support in a mighty way. Peace to you all. I love you.